Hello everyone, welcome back to the class. Today, let's begin the new lesson, Direct and Indirect Speech. So first, let's discuss the definition of uh, direct speech. We can report what we have been told by using exactly the same words used by the speaker. This is called direct speech. So if we wanted to report the uh, same verses of the speaker to another person that is known as the direct speech. So for example, suppose your friend John has invited you to his birthday party and you wanted to tell your mother about it. So. You will tell your mother exactly what John has told you. So that is a, let's discuss the sentence, that is a, John said, come to my birthday party tomorrow. So in this sentence, if we note carefully, we can say that in a direct speech, we put what we have heard or what somebody has said within quotation marks to make it clear that we are repeating verbatim that is word for word what the speaker has said you must also note how a punctuation mark like a comma, full stop or question mark is used in direct speech. So we have to keep in certain points. First one, you put a comma before the opening quotation mark. So we have to put a comma if we are a Looking at this uh, sentence, we can see there is a comma we have uh, put where before the opening of a quotation mark. Have you seen it? So John said after that we have after said we have put a comma. Then next point that we have to keep in mind, you put the closing quotation mark after the full stop at the end of what the speaker has said. So if we are looking carefully at the sentence we can see there is a quotation mark, closing quotation mark after the full stop at the end of what the speaker has said. In that sentence we can see Speaker said that, come to my birthday party tomorrow. After tomorrow, there is a full stop. And after that, after the full stop, we can see that there is a closing of a quotation mark. To make it easier for you to remember all this, let's give different names to the different parts of a report made in a direct speech. So John said, come to my birthday party tomorrow. Let's call the words within the quotation marks as the court. The court usually begins with a capital letter. If we look at this sentence, we can see that the words within the quotation mark the court. So, the words which another person said it is known as the court and uh, all court usually begins with the capital letter. So, we can see that uh, the come to my birthday party tomorrow. In that come is uh, starting with a capital letter. C is in a capital letter. So we have to write it in a capital letter. So we have to use capital letter in the beginning of a quotation 
words second thing let's call the verb set in a john set so the word of speaking so john said in that said is known as the verb of speaking clear then next point that we have to keep in mind we put a comma after the verb of speaking and before the opening quotation mark so if we are looking at this sentence we can see there is a comma after the verb of speaking after set we can find a comma then and that comma should be there after the verb of speaking and before the opening of a quotation mark we can see that quotation mark is after the comma then next point we put the final punctuation mark before the closing quotation mark so we have to put the final punctuation mark before the closing quotation mark so if we are looking at this sentence we can see there is a punctuation full stop is used before rather closing of a quotation mark next point that we have to keep in mind the quote is always put within quotation marks that we can see that the quote is a come to my birthday party tomorrow that is always the quotation should be always there in a quotation mark opening of quotation and closing of quotation mark we can see just before the come there is a quotation opening quotation and after tomorrow after full stop we can see that a closing quotation mark now let's examine few more examples from which we can see these quotation marks the teacher said please listen to me carefully so in that we can see that a quotation mark exactly the speaker said it. the words exactly the words of a the speaker jayant shouted i can't hear what you are saying mother asked have you taken your medicine they cheered come on india so not once again that the closing quotation mark comes after the final punctuation mark of the quote a full stop question mark or exclamation mark in all the above examples the quote comes at the end of the sentence let's now look at some sentences in which the quote comes at the beginning so let's see few more examples where the quote comes in the beginning hurry up said john please listen to me carefully said the teacher i can't hear you shouted jayant have you taken your medicine said mother so as usual the opening quotation mark comes before the quote and the closing quotation mark comes after the final punctuation mark at the end of the quote and before the verb of speaking not that when the quote comes at the beginning of the sentence the verb of speaking can be placed before the speaker said john said the teacher shouted jayant asked mother so in this we can see in the above sentence that said said shouted asked all these 
speaking verb is uh, placed before the speaker here the speaker is a uh, john the teacher giant and mother so before the speaker we uh, here it is used what the verb of speaking is uh, used but the verb of speaking usually comes after the speaker if a pronoun is used to refer to the speaker so usually verb of speaking comes after the speaker if a pronoun is used to refer the speaker for example are you happy he asked um she replied what a surprise they exclaimed so all above we can see in all these sentences that the verb of speaking comes after the speaker because we can find a pronoun is used to refer to the speaker that's why uh, the speaker comes before the verb of speaking clear indirect speech so first let's see the definition of a indirect speech we can report what we have been told by not using exactly the same words used by the speaker this is called indirect speech so if we wanted to report what we have been told by someone and by not using exactly the same words used by the speaker so if we don't use the exact word of the speaker and uh, if we report to someone else that is known as the indirect speech first let's see example and understand what is direct and what is indirect john said i'm unwell so if we look at this sentence we can understand that i'm unwell it is used the exact word of the speaker and it is given in a quotation mark opening and ending quotation marks is given so from that we can understand that that is in a direct speech by using exact word of the speaker the speaker is john there and uh, verb of speaking is a set and um, so we can understand john set um and well it is in a direct speech then how can we make it into indirect speech so john said that he was unwell so if we look at that particular sentence closely then we can understand that there is no quotation mark and from that we can understand that that is a indirect speech and john said that he was unwell that we can understand that is a reporter and not exact the word of the speaker so exact word of the speaker was am unwell so when we reported in the indirect speech it changed into that john said that he was unwell clear let's see few more example and by from this we can understand what is direct and what is indirect and each sentence is given first direct speech and the same sentence changed into indirect speech so let's read those 
example and understand more so first hari asked me where are you going so that is in a direct or indirect speech that is in a direct speech hari asked me where i was going so that is a indirect speech john is sleeping said his mother so that is in a direct speech john's mother said that john was sleeping that is in a indirect speech deep said i am sorry that i am late so that is in a direct speech so how can we change it into indirect speech deep said that he was sorry that he was late so another example the teacher asked him why have you come late to school so that is in a direct speech because it is given in a quotation mark so how can we change that particular sentence into indirect speech so that is a the teacher asked him why he had come late to school so from all these things i hope you understand how to differentiate the direct and the indirect speech some of the main differences are first one is a quotation marks are not used in a indirect speech in indirect speech that is usually used after the verb of speaking said that screamed that and so on the third the pronouns in the quote may change i in a direct speech so i may become he or she in a indirect speech and the pronoun you may become he or she in a indirect speech the fourth is a the tenses of the verb in the quote may change is a direct speech may become was is may change it into was in a indirect and am in a direct speech may become was in a indirect speech and uh, will in a direct speech may become would in a indirect speech and so on the fifth main different is a uh, questions or exclamatory alterations become statements in a indirect speech so in a direct speech sometimes the quotation may be in a questions or a exclamatory marks it may become a statement in a indirect speech so these are the things that we have to keep in mind when we learn about indirect speech as well as the direct speech so i hope you understand this particular topic all of you please go through your textbook and learn more this is for today bye bye